while giving the keynote address during the opening ceremony of the Day 4 event, former President of the Malawi Republic, Her Excellency Dr. Joyce Banda, highlighted some of the challenges that women need to overcome so as to rise in top leadership positions. I've spent my life fighting against this unnecessary, unnecessary abuse of innocent women. But it was while I was living here that I became aware of what should happen to me and what shouldn't happen to me. Awareness creation, as Senator Beth Mugo said, is very, very important. She also broke down the reason that made her decide to focus on fighting the unnecessary deaths of women during childbirth. 1,200 women were dying giving birth in Malawi per 100,000 life births. The worst two countries in Africa, Sierra Leone and Malawi. At least Sierra Leone was recovering from war. But Malawi had no excuse. And I decided that I shall spend my life fighting this unnecessary death of women dying while giving life. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this is totally unacceptable that we should just sit around and watch women die. While outlining the statistics of women who die while giving birth, she noted that stakeholders have failed women by not achieving the set millennium development goals on maternal deaths. 830 women die from preventable causes giving birth around the world. In the United States, it's 26 women out of 100,000 mothers. In Kenya, it's 510. And in Malawi, when I became president, I found that the figure was at 675 women out of 100,000 women were dying, giving life. Unfortunately, the Millennium Development Goals set the global figure for reducing maternal death to 115 per 100,000. But we failed to achieve this and in turn failed the women of Africa. Sadly, this was not the only goal we failed to achieve. MDG3 as well, gender equality and women's empowerment was the other, and ironically, both had to do with women. The former president further outlined the role of an improved maternal, newborn and child health system to the development of a nation. Improvements in maternal, newborn and child health are critical to overall development of nations. A huge body of research work and general experience have shown quite remarkable results of tangible returns on investment in maternal health which are far reaching. In many of our countries, especially in developing countries, many young women between the ages of 15 and 19 years die giving birth. This is because of poverty, illiteracy, culture, and lack of opportunities, because that is the age gap where they should be in secondary school. As a result of this, they end up getting married early and giving birth early before their bodies are mature. The chief guest and nominated Senator Beth Mugo, while opening the conference, spoke on the association between the state of women's health and their rights in matters development goals. There is an important link between women's health and women's rights. No development goals can be met unless the rights of women are realized. And it is for this reason that I strongly support the Africa Union's goal on gender equality. At the international level, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal number three dedicates to ensuring healthy lives and promote the well-being of all at all ages. She went on to point out the need for the governments and the key stakeholders to increase funding in the health sector in an effort to improve awareness not only for cancer cases but for all medical problems. The awareness creation should therefore not be confined to cancer alone, but also to other non-communicable diseases. The other critical area is the issue of funding. 
It is common knowledge that many public health facilities in the developing world, especially sub-Saharan Africa, still remains under-equipped and understaffed. This is largely due to underfunding of the health sector. As we commend the national governments, regional bodies, and international organizations in coming up with sound initiatives towards the promotion of health, we must not lose sight of the fact that these non poor initiatives will remain a mirage unless governments commit to improve the funding of the health sector. John Tip is from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, who spoke in the capacity of Principal Secretary of the Ministry, Masharia Kamau, pointed out the need for the challenges of women's health be addressed in an effort to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals and AU 2063 Agenda. This conference predicated on the theme of accelerating women's health, priorities and opportunities through Sustainable Development Goals and the African Union Agenda 2063 affords us an excellent opportunity to exchange views and ideas on how to accelerate the process of mainstreaming women's health. Most significantly, this conference gives us a platform to assert and reaffirm that the health of women matters. UNFPA. Dr. Ademola Olajide, the Kenya representative of the United Nations Population Fund, pointed out that good health of women was a critical factor for countries to achieve development. The opportunities provided by the SDGs and the African Union Agenda 2063 for advancing women's health is strategic and is very opportune. The Sustainable Development Goals were put together for the very purpose of protecting the environment, eradicating poverty, and promoting peace and prosperity. And the African Union Vision 2063 was put together also for the same reasons where Africa wants to deliver the Africa we want, which is a peaceful, prosperous Africa, driven by its own citizens and playing its role on the global agenda. And therefore, where we do not pay sufficient attention to the health of women, we neglect the capacity of nations to achieve sustainable development. Women face many challenges, including a heavy burden of ill health, which results in high morbidity and mortality rates among them. They are also subjected to many societal injustices and harmful social cultural practices, which further impact on their health and development. Thus, good health for them is needed, as they are responsible for the welfare of their families, as well as the socio-economic development of nations. Reporting for Brand Plus TV Business News, I am Daisy Ombua.